What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. In this video I will be going through the methods that I used to make sure that I got the most amount of XP through this Moonshiner role and I was able to rank up as quickly as possible. I managed to get to rank 20 within this role within a matter of days which is actually I think very impressive considering the amount of bugs that are in this game right now preventing you from actually playing it. So if those bugs weren't there maybe I could have done it a lot quicker. But the first thing that I did is that I made sure I stuck to weak Moonshine. It makes sense for you as you progress through the ranks of this moonshine role for you to start increasing the strength of your moonshine you go from weak average to then strong but no matter which strength in moonshine you pick the full delivery a 20 out of 20 batch still gives you the exact same amount of xp every single time and that's around about 900 xp but that means when looking at these numbers it takes 48 minutes for you to produce strong moonshine and it takes 24 minutes for you to produce weak moonshine and then makes more sense for you to stick to the weak moonshine because you're then able to make two batches in the time that it takes you to make one strong batch of moonshine and you're able to get an extra 900 xp for doing a full batch delivery yes the strong moonshine gives you more money but in this video we are talking about ranking up very quickly and not about getting money the second thing that i always make sure that i do is i add flavoring to my moonshine for every time you add flavoring you can get yourself 300 xp and as we established earlier if you stick to weak moonshine that means you're able to add two lots of flavoring every hour whereas the strong moonshine you're only going to be rewarded for adding one lot of flavoring so if we look at every hour, we're able to make two batches of moonshine, which will give a delivery of 900 XP. And then you're also able to add flavor into both of those moonshine, which gives you an extra 300 XP per batch of moonshine. You're now looking at getting yourself 2,400 XP per hour. Whilst you're waiting for Marcel to make this moonshine, this is the time that I take to do bootlegger missions as well as any main missions. Bootlegger missions can give you 300 XP for completing them and they do not take too long to complete. Normally you have to go to a set location location kill revenue agents does not take too long to do or you have to go to a completely different location and you have to take down someone else who's making moonshine these missions really do not take too long to do you're given a 10 minute timer but realistically you could probably do it within three maybe even four minutes and for completing these missions you can get yourself 300 xp these missions do not take too long to reset as well you can't complete a mission go straight back to maggie and redo another mission immediately but what you can do is wait a couple minutes in between each one normally when trying to do weak moonshine which takes 24 minutes for me to do I have time to do two different bootlegger missions so you're looking at doing round about four every hour so within an hour of just doing this moonshine roll if I'm able to do everything perfect if I'm able to do the weak moonshine add flavor and do bootlegger missions and then sell that on as a 20 out of 20 batch I'm able to get myself round about 3600 XP which is more than enough for me to be able to rank up within this moonshine roll as well as I'm also getting halfway there to the very next rank the other thing that i should point out is that these numbers right now are actually through completing the moonshine roll so once you progress high enough you can reduce the time it takes to create weak average and also strong moonshine but these still translate over it just means that you're not getting as much xp per hour if you're starting out rank one with this moonshine roll and you're wanting enough xp to progress through this roll so you're able to get that average moonshine and then progress to that strong moonshine i would still advise sticking to the weak moonshine as you carry on progressing because this is still the best way to gain xp it's terrible for money and I 100% know that but if you have money in the bag you might as well carry on progressing through the weak moonshine slowly lose bits of money here or only gain a very small amount of money until you get to that rank 20 and then go immediately to that strong moonshine but anyway guys that is the method that I was using to rank up quickly within this moonshine role I'm not doing anything completely out of the ordinary here I'm just trying to be smart with the time that's been given and Rockstar do provide the times of what it takes to create weak average and strong moonshine and it just makes sense for you to always stick to weak moonshine especially if you're trying to rank up quickly if you're trying to get money instead definitely stick to the strong moonshine because that can provide you a lot more money but anyway guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going so see ya